this video, we are going to continue with compound angle formula. You will find this on page 442 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, we are going to use this sin A minus B, okay, and even if it's sin A plus B, formula to prove an identity. Okay, so this is now coming in the identities. Now, I'm first going to rewrite. Now, just look at the left-hand side. Now, if I, look, if I just rewrite it first, then I see that negative. Do you see? So, it can, could have been a positive also. I could have actually said plus, plus minus because some of them will bring it in here. Okay, but then it's sin A cos B. There I use the formula. Did you see? So, I substitute the compound angle formula. Okay, then I rewrite this. Then I break it up. So that this is over the denominator as well as this is over the denominator. And then I cancel, cancel. And I'm left with sin A cos A, that will be tan A. And I will sin B cos B, and that will be tan B. And that is equal to the right hand side. Okay, and that's how you do it. Now I'm going to give you two in this video because usually sometimes... Students really struggle with a proof, so I think it will be best that I do too. Um, a is more or less exactly the same, so I don't think you will be able to do that. I'm going to do B and C for you. Okay, so stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. This is try now, six. Let's start with number B. Now let's first write it down. So it's sin... A plus B plus sin A minus B and that's equal to 2 sin A cos B. Okay, now let's start with this one on the left hand side. It's not always to say, in the pre next one we will do the other side. But in this case, I'm going to do it. Now, there I see the plus and there I see the minus. So that's why I think if I reprint it, I will say plus minus because you're going to use uh, both there. I will just uh, include that plus. Okay, so basically the plus one was, can you remember, sin the first one and then cos the second one. Plus uh, cos the first one, sin the second one. Okay, but now, this is very long, so I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay, and now it's going to be plus, and now it's just a subtraction, but it's again, send the first one, cos the second one. And now, remember, it's minus, it's not the influence because of the plus, otherwise you will have to put a bracket. Okay, minus, and now it's going to be um, cos the first one, sin the second one. Okay, now let's see what we have. We have a lot of things there, but I'm going to mark it for you. We have sin A cos B, sin A cos B. Do you see? So we have 1 plus 1, 2, sin A cos B, that is the, like your X, your variable. And then, oh, and what happens to this one? It's different, do you see? So it cancels out. And therefore, oh, I look, that is excellent. So the left-hand side, so therefore, is equal to the right-hand side. Otherwise, you can just say equal right-hand side. And that's how you prove number B. Let's do it in the next one. And again, you must be able to do your basic proofs to remember your basic rules, which I explained in chapter 4. Let's do number C. Now, this is going to be sin A plus B sin a minus B is equal to 
tan A plus tan B. Tan A minus tan B. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm going to, because I, I work, I'm going to work with the right-hand side. So it's not always the left. Sometimes it can be the right. So in this case, because I, I can see that with tan, I can take it to sin and cos. That's what I'm trying to do. So let's just see. I can go and I can say, this, this is going, look, let's first write it always. That, that helps. Otherwise, you remember if you prove identities, you cannot work over. So you can you cannot work over. You either work. It's almost like an expression, and you just work with one side at a time. So okay. So this is tan A minus tan B. Okay. And now I'm going to first start. So what is this going to be? This is going to be sin A over cos A. Plus sin b over cos b over, okay, and then again sin a over cos a minus sin b over cos b. Okay, then I'm going to move up. Okay, now I'm going to make the denominators the same. So remember, what is my LCM? It's cos A, cos B. So this one, I'm going to multiply with cos B, cos B. This one, I multiply with cos A. I just write it in. It's not necessary. This one, I'm going to multiply with cos B on top cos B. And this one, I'm going to multiply with cos A and on top cos A. And that is going to give me, okay, let's start. Sin A cos B plus sin B, oh, let's just get that pen correct. Um, sin B. Cos A over, this is going to be, oh, I forgot the denominator. You cannot just throw it away. And I did just now, not good. Okay, so it's cos A, cos B. And again, I'm going to make a lot of space because I want to show you this is over. And now I'm going to say sin A cos B over, I could have made it already, yes, one, uh, minus, remember, sin B cos A. And that is going to be over cos A cos B. And now I can... The reciprocal. I'm, I'm doing it a little bit long. You can do it shorter. Um, it's a lot of writing over. Okay, but I just want to show you. So this is cos A, cos B, and then I'm going to multiply with the reciprocal, which is cos A, cos B, over... Sin A, cos B, minus sin B, cos A. And now you will see that that cancel out. Okay, so what am I left with? I'm going to be left with sin A, cos B, plus sin B, cos A over sin A cos B minus sin B, move it a little bit, cos A. And there is your rules again. Can you see that? 
sin A cos B. So if I'm going to simplify this, this is sin A cos B, and then sin B cos A. So if I'm simplifying, do you agree? It's sin A plus B. Please also take note of the reverse. Okay, and this is sin A minus B. And then I'm looking up, and I'm saying it's equal. Do you see there? Do you see there? So it's equal, you can just say, it's equal to the left-hand side. Because you said here, so you don't have to say that therefore, as I did. You said right-hand side equals. I, I think it's better then that I rather, if I want to end like this, I rather put there a equal. Otherwise, you can end up with, therefore, um, right-hand side equals left-hand side. doesn't matter. And that's how you do it.